We were in Caloundra just last week, the Sunshine Coast, beautiful part of the world, and literally as we were at the airport, it was teeming down and flights were cancelled for the rest of the day. We were lucky enough to get out early, um, but... There are plenty of people who've, who've copped a belting all weekend. Uh, their mayor is Mark Jamieson. He's the Sunshine Coast mayor and he joins us now. Mr Mayor, tell me about what's happening in your area. And uh, Now that I can see that the rain is slowing, what are you starting to see in the sunny coast? Well, thank you, Paul, very much. Uh, I think, first of all, I'd make the point that floods inevitably start somewhere and finish somewhere else. Uh, and we've had uh, this wet weather... Uh, low depression hanging over the Sunshine Coast for almost the last week. Uh, we've endured over a metre of rain uh, across all areas and along the Blackall Range, which is a significant uh, area, the water sheds to the east via the Malula and Maruchi systems and to the west it, uh, it uh, runs into the Mary system and the Stanley River and of course the Stanley River then runs into Somerset Dam and Wyvernho Dam. So this uh, this rain, uh, very intense rain, uh, has been incredibly disruptive on the Sunshine Coast, uh, forcing people uh, indoors. Uh, and I thank people uh, from the bottom of my heart for the sincere way in which they've adhered to our request to stay off roads. Um, a lot of the roads are obviously closed. A lot of them are very dangerous. We won't know the full impact. Uh, our recovery is underway and our officers are assessing bridges and roadways uh, and what sort of work is going to be required and that will run into the many, many millions of dollars to uh, restore a lot of those roads and other related infrastructure. Um, I mean, obviously, we're at the tail end of the storm, uh, but uh, the first to begin the recovery. Uh, so I'm, I'm grateful for the Prime Minister and the Premier for making the disaster funding available. Uh, we will certainly be using that very properly to restore uh, the beautiful region of the Sunshine Coast. Yeah, it is amazing. Uh, of course, Gympie, which isn't part of your region, but of course is uh, about an hour away, they got thumped the past couple of days. Tell me about um, the things that make you proud of what you've seen when people on the sunny coast have been helping other people on the Sunshine Coast. Uh, look, many examples, Paul, and none better than the volunteers that are attached to our local disaster management group. Uh, the, the Red Cross volunteers, for instance, we opened uh, one evac centre at the Nambour Showgrounds, which they uh, uh, serviced. Uh, when the Bruce Highway was closed last night near Caboolture, which meant it was closed to the north and the south of the Sunshine Coast, uh, it was apparent that uh, we would need additional facilities. So uh, very, very quickly, our teams put together another uh, evac centre at the Sunshine Coast University. And I thank the university management for their support. That enabled people who were, as I say, trapped on the Bruce Highway. And it sort of probably, um, you know, people, their, their thinking changes a little bit when they're put under a lot of pressure. Uh, we needed somewhere for them to go and they've been looked after beautifully by a range of volunteers again. And, and let me thank the SES because uh, they've dealt with hundreds and hundreds of calls. Uh, we've had to uh, rely on other volunteers to come in and assist with sandbagging so the expertise of the SES could be uh, made available to deal with people who had water in their homes or water coming through their roofs, for instance. So there's been a lot of uh, call-outs there. Um, and, and this remains a, a very difficult situation for us. There's lots of power outages. Uh, we may see the winds lift uh, tomorrow. There'll be lots of shallow rooted trees uh, that as a result of the land being so wet uh, will be, uh, you know, the prospect of them getting blown over in some circumstances. So our citizens have got to be very careful of that and also along the range, be very careful of landslides. 